Welcome back. It's been nearly one year since the first legal sale of recreational marijuana here in Missouri. But where does that tax money from adult use marijuana go? ABC 17's Hannah Falcon went in depth to follow the money and find out how much was made in the past year and what the state is doing with that money. Following the passage of Amendment 3 in November 2022, the first legal sale of recreational marijuana took place February 3rd, 2023. Now, nearly one year later, adult use marijuana has made nearly $2 billion in Missouri. With a 6% state sales tax, the state collected around $120 million. The state divides that money into three buckets, veteran services, drug addiction treatments, and the public defender system. Dan Veets with Legal Missouri was on the team that drafted the law on marijuana. We felt that those were important things to support. Frankly, we felt that Missouri voters would agree with that and also likewise felt those were important things to support. How much of an increase have we seen since the adult use was added on top of that medical? A very large increase, several times more tax revenue. According to documents I got my hands on, the Missouri Veterans Commission anticipates receiving more than $14 million for the fiscal year 2024. The tax money from medical marijuana sold in Missouri since 2022 already funded veteran services. However, Veets tells me there's been a decrease in medical sales since adult use legalization. According to numbers from the Department of Health and Senior Services, Medical marijuana sales decreased by $20.2 million from January to December 2023. That's why we included veteran services as one of the three purposes for which the additional 6% sales tax on non-medical marijuana uh, would go to support. Mary Fox with the Missouri State Public Defenders tells me the agency received $1.3 million to put into its expense and equipment fund. We have used it to contract out overload cases to private attorneys. And then we have also used it to bring in some client advocates to assist our clients in returning to their communities as uh, good members of the community. And Fox anticipates some more money coming in. It appears in the budget that there will be additional marijuana money next year. Um, it's coming in pretty well, the, the tax money. And I think we expect that in addition to the 1.3 million that we received this year. The third bucket is drug addiction treatment grants but it hasn't quite gotten off the ground yet. Lisa Cox with the State Health Department tells me the department is just weeks out from awarding the grants. All the departments tell me recreational marijuana has brought in more money than anticipated. It has been a huge benefit for us, yes. It has helped us take care of some of the areas where we had shortfalls in funding. Reporting in Jefferson City, Hannah Falcon, ABC 17 News. Counties and cities can do another 3% local sales tax on top of it, but there's a court battle to figure out how they stack.